Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of equivalent fractions, specifically how we can identify equivalent fractions using fraction strips, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we've got some blank fraction strips here that we're going to need to label, and we're going to use them to find equivalent fractions. Now let's make sure we understand what that big word means, equivalent. Got it down here, and if we take just the first three letters, we skip the next two, and then take the next two after that, hopefully you see that equivalent fractions, it's just a different way of saying equal. We want fractions that equal each other. So the most important one is this big one all the way across the top. This is going to represent one whole. That's why there's no breaks in it. So one whole unit is going to go from side to side on those equivalent fractions. And then what we're going to do after that is we're just going to break that one whole into smaller and smaller pieces, right? So look at the second row right here. The second row is broken up into halves. And I know it's broken up into halves because there are two pieces, right? And so I'm going to label each of these as its unit fraction. So that's one half. And that's one half. Now we're going to look at that next row. And you see that it's broken up into thirds because there are three equal pieces. So I will just break these up into one third, one third, and one third. Now, there are no equivalent fractions between the halves and the thirds because these lines right here don't go to the same spot. So that's, that's what we're looking for. Do we see lines? kind of going out to the same distance. We don't see any. But we are going to see something here on fourths. So there are four equal pieces. One fourth. That's a one fourth. That's a one fourth. And that's a one fourth. Now what we should see here is if I take two fourths, right? This is a one fourth and a one fourth. Look at that two fourths. It goes to the same distance right here as my one half. So I can say, and I'm going to put that down here, one half is equal to two fourths. Because using these fraction strips, right, you can almost draw a connected line right there. Those two go to the same distance. Let's look at the next one. I've got fifths here, and I don't see any equivalent fractions with my fifths. I can label all these with my E. Unit fractions of 1 over 5 or 1 fifths. Remember, our bottom number is the denominator, and that names how many pieces that whole is broken into. And the numerator is the top number. That just shows you how many pieces we're looking at, and each of these are just one piece. Now, we are going to see something here with sixths. Let's label each of these. 1 sixths. Now, you should notice something between the sixths and take a look at this third right here. See that third right there? I could say that two sixths. Okay, I'll put that up here. Is the same as one third. Because they go to that same distance. So two sixths equals one third. And it makes sense. The two is double the one and the six is double the three. I just took each of my thirds and cut it in half and that's how you get your six. But hopefully, you notice that if I take three sixths, look at that. It's that same distance as we had for the one half and the three fourths, or the two fourths. So I'm going to put that right here. And hopefully, you're noticing a pattern one, two, three, two, four, six. Now, this next line is not sevenths. That's not a fraction we normally work with, especially in picture form. But we are going to use eighths, right? And we're going to label all of these eighths. And hopefully, you are going to notice that my eighths are going to be equivalent to one half. So one, two, three, four. And look at that pattern, four eighths. Now, we'll also see that I could do this one fourth right here, and that goes to two eighths. So I can also bring in a few other ones. One fourth is equal to two eighths. I can also say that this three-fourths is right there, equal to that six-eighths.